Welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. We have just landed on the moon of Nar Shaddaa and uh, we need to find an ID signature for the Ebon Hawk and hopefully the Jedi Master who's hiding out here as well. So. This is the 32nd droid of Tien. Uh, what happened to him? Okay. Uh, what would you like me to do? Uh, plans? What plans? Uh, okay. Maybe you'd better tell me if you want to see that droid again. Are uh, they aren't dangerous, are they? Uh, maybe you'd better tell me if you want to see that droid again. Okay. We'll see what we can do. Okay, what does the droid look like? Small astromech droid, brown, a little battered. Uh, IT31. Uh, and where can I find Coden? Okay, so droids are pretty expensive. If we have to purchase that droid, it may cost us uh, quite a bit of money. But we're going to head out here anyway and uh, just have a look around the rest of Nar Shada. We found the garage, and uh, that's pretty much all. A few refugees in the last episode. Um, but, uh, commoner. The bounty hunters have been laying low recently, like they're waiting for something. Yeah, they're waiting for me. Uh, oh, there's IT31. He's right there. He is right there. Hello, IT31. Are you TN Tubbs droid? Uh, I need your memory core. Um, I'll speak to Coden. I guess we could pry it out. Uh, Coden is right here. <laughs> Uh, got any astromech droids? <laughs> really? He looks like he's uh, not in a good condition at all. Can I just pry out the memory core? I don't care about the frame. How about I buy that droid from you? <laughs> Uh, awareness. I think we'll go for awareness. That seems to be a better skill than persuade here because we're really getting in touch with uh, what he's really willing to accept. Uh, 150 credits. Uh, let me see what else you have for sale. Some droid plating here. Uh, HK droid processors. Is that what we need for our HK unit? HK droid processor. Droid fighting upgrade defense bonus 2, attack modifier plus 3, awareness plus 2 as well. Uh, a lot of droid stuff here. Uh, so far we haven't used droids all that much, except for a little bit with uh, T3M4. Defense bonus 9, a droid diet and plating. Um, and good defenses against a melee damage, dexterity minus 2 there. Uh, we may need the HK droid processor. Um, let's just close this first of all and have a quick look. Um, rebuild HK-47. All that remains is the droid processor. Okay, we do need the droid processor. Uh, so we can purchase that here. Let's go and uh, buy that. There we go. Uh, we should be able to fit that on HK-47 uh, when we go get back. Is this droid going to follow us? It's not going to follow us. 
What's wrong, little buddy? Can't you move? Uh, I know I negotiated your release. You're free to go. See you back at Tian's garage. Okay, he can move. He just didn't uh, didn't realize. There we go. So he's gonna head back to Tian's garage there, and um, we're gonna head back as well. Uh, why would you stop there, buddy? Good to see you made it back, all right. Okay, let's go and have a chat with the uh, the other droid. The 30, 32nd... Oh, we're going the wrong way, aren't we? The 32nd droid. So, let's head back uh, over here. See if we got the memory core out all right. And that should definitely give us some credit with our TN over there. Uh, you'd better do more than that, I expect some compensation. Uh, no, that's okay. Just so you know, I have a copy of the schematics of that part. Very well, I'll be going now. Okay, we got uh, 1,250 experience points and we got a renewable shield. Uh, I guess it's for a droid. So maybe we can give that uh, to T3M4 as well. Let's head on out here and uh, see if we can find something else to do on uh, Shada. What do we have here? What is this place? There's a few commoners hanging around. Is it like an old bar or something? And there's this a strange character standing here in the in the corner, Vosk. <laughs> Uh, who are you? How'd you know who I am? Uh, laws? Uh, what laws do they uphold? So if they were all hunting one person, they couldn't attack each other? Oops, uh, missed, a, missed a little bit there. Okay, who are some of the prime bounty hunters? Okay, so we have the Gand. Uh, who else? Uh, okay. I can handle them both. Anyone else? Hanha, Mira, forget it, I had other questions. Okay, we might as well uh, find out who these people are. Hanha. Okay, and what about Mira? Uh, 
Lakshmi. Okay, why is she one of the best? Okay, so we've got an interesting uh, collection of uh, bounty hunters here. Okay, you sound as if you had the guild. You mentioned the guild had laws, so you so you are no longer a bounty hunter. Um, it sounds as if you hate the guild. Okay, never mind. Uh, that's interesting. There are a lot of bounty hunters out here. And uh, for some reason he gave me uh, the information about... Uh, the various types of them. Uh, let's go and see if we can find. Uh, I guess the Bounty Hunters Guild is going to be around here somewhere. Hey, I saw that ship you flew in on. My ship. Your ship? I'd lay off the spice if I were you. That's our ship, not yours. Was I talking to you? I tell you, that ship's mine. Um, what makes you think that ship is yours? It's the Ebon Hawk, isn't it? She was stolen from me during a routine run in the mid rim. Near the close of the Mandalorian Wars. Um, really? Okay, um, interesting selection of um, responses here. He can't really have the ship back. Um, you're not taking the ship. If you can prove the ship is yours, uh, maybe we'll see if we can get him to prove it. The Registry's 34P7JK. It's got a temperamental hyperdrive, and the turrets can be sluggish and unresponsive against fast-moving fighters. She's also got two secret compartments, one in the cargo hold, right near the plasteel cylinders in the back, and the second beneath the bunks in the starboard cabin. Uh, I knew about the cargo hatch. I didn't know about the second one underneath the bunk. Um... Uh, the second beneath the bunks in the starboard cabin. I don't think I knew about that one. Um, um, okay, that's right, but I didn't know about the cargo hatch. Well, he could have gotten that, that information some other way than owning the ship. Come on, he's skifting us. So, you're gonna hand it over now, or are you going to be difficult? Um, <laughs> it's not really proof that he owns it, uh, you know. Uh, you're not taking the ship. We'll see about that. Watch yourself. Nar Shaddaa can be a rough place. <laughs> Let me shoot him in the back. No one has to know. Okay, sorry buddy, you're not taking the ship. Um, let's have a look around here and uh, <laughs> see what else we can find. I wasn't expecting someone to come along and, and uh, claim that the Ebon Hawk was theirs. Uh, the refugee sec. Is this this leads to a different area. Okay, we're going to explore this um this map uh, first of all. But we've got the exit there to the refugee sector. I thought this was the refugee sector. No, it's the refugee land. Uh, the okay, so this is the landing area, and um, let's just see if there's there's anything else around here to find. Uh, who are they? Could be the exchange, could be the bounty bounty hunters group. Bounty hunters. Okay, Oh god, uh, we seem to have come in at the wrong time. Somebody has thrown a, a grenade at us as well. Um, there apparently is a thug in front of me. Not that I can see anything. How many thugs are there? Is that Bayoudur? He's already up there. Uh, okay, so we've got uh, a number of thugs here. Let's take them out. None of them have any shielding on. Uh, let's see what uh, Bayoudur can do. Just say the word. 
Uh, we do get, do get a level up as well. This is going to be interesting. There are four of them, uh, which means it could be a pretty tough fight. I could throw a con concussion grenade at this guy. Let's do that and see, see what happens here. Throw the grenade, buddy. Throw the grenade. Uh, didn't do much, unfortunately. We're going to have to heal up as well. Oh. Uh, we could use the melee shield here. Uh, let's heal up because we need to heal up Barrido as well. And uh, then we're going to use the melee shield. Uh, we're also going to use a... Ugh. Let's use a, a med... Oh, let's get rid of all of this first of all. Um, they've all... Uh, well, the boss, the boss hasn't taken any damage, but these two have taken a fair amount of damage. Let's go and use a med pack. Uh, I hear you. Where that came from? Okay, we've healed up a little bit. Let's go and heal up again. Shield. Heal up. Let's take this guy down. More where that came from? Uh, Bayo is probably going to need another med pack here, just to keep him alive. Um. Yeah, let's start uh, let's I hear this, this guy first of all. And um, let's go with a... Well, she's going to use a heal already. Let's go with a heal and an improved flurry. Take him down. Okay. Okay, we're going to level up. It will give her uh, a bit of extra health here as well. Uh, she's got one remaining point. She can increase strength, uh, dexterity, constitution. Let's go with constitution. Should give her more uh, health points here. Uh, she gets more skills. So we're going to go computer use, stealth, awareness, persuade, and security. Uh, we get another feat as well. Force immunity to paralysis, which is good. Um, now we are using our melee weapons here. So is there anything we could do? Uh, weapon focus lightsaber. We don't have the lightsabers yet. I feel like I just want to keep her alive uh, for a little bit longer. Should we go for something like uh, conditioning? Improved two weapon fighting. Let's go with improved uh, two weapon fighting. That's going to help out in this battle at least. Uh, we've got resilience, uh, a Soresu lightsaber form. So we've been granted another lightsaber form here. Improved heal will give us uh, healing to all party members in 15 meter radius. Um, Okay, let's go for the advanced healing here. And uh, we now have 145 uh, vitality points. And uh, let's go and see if we can finish him off. There we go. Okay, beautiful. Uh, did they drop anything? What is this? Doesn't look like they've uh, they've dropped anything. There is a metal box here, though. Uh, there's some credits and an ion rifle. We're going to go and grab that. There is another metal box here. We're going to use security um, and see if we can open that Arcanian uh, energy shield, which is good. And is there anything else around here? It doesn't look like it. Who are these dudes? The Undar. There are people absolutely everywhere. Let's have a chat with Unda. Uh, I don't see any customers waiting. Uh, Shuta. 
Ask a Twi'lek. It's not flattering. Um. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna interfere with their business. Uh, they can sort it out between themselves. Um, if you're willing to pay, I'll get rid of it for you. I can kill it for you, solve the problem. Uh, let's see what you have. Okay. Uh, some fiber mesh here. Defense bonus eight. Uh, armor proficiency medium. Uh, it's not going to allow us to use force powers, and I, I do want to keep my force powers. A Zabrag, a Vibro Blade, one to ten physical damage. We've got some of those already. A Sith Tremor Sword. Is that upgradable? It is fully upgradable. It costs 14,000, that is ridiculous. Uh, we need to get some cash. Maybe uh, go and do some swoop racing and we can actually get some more credits there. And uh, buy something like the Tremor Sword. 4 to 14 physical damage uh, with plus 3 sonic damage, attack modifier plus 2, and it is fully upgradable as well. Uh, we've got some crystals here we can purchase. The Furkan Crystal does plus 2 to 12 damage versus droids. Uh, just for a lightsaber, which we don't have at the moment. Uh, possibly we could get something, uh, a, a blaster for um, Atten. Um, interface band. Computer use plus 2. And uh, we can always sell uh, some stuff that we've got as well. But um, a Jawa Shea Belt. Force resist plus 14 and wisdom plus 1. Hmm. Okay, so he's got some interesting things there, and I'll have a think about uh, what we want to purchase, but we need some cash uh, before we do that uh, anyway. Thoughts are disturbed. I can feel them from a great distance, like a shiver running through you. I feel like this background noise is like... Vibration. There's a craving in the air. A hunger. It is Narshada. The true Narshada that you feel around you. It is this moon, with the metal and machines stripped away and the currents of the Force laid bare. Uh, it feels so alive, but with a desperation about it. The currents are moving so fast, almost frantically. Let's go with that one. I'm surprised you can feel it. I fear the damage to you had deadened you to such perceptions. What you feel is the echo of the minds of these creatures within the Force. Their anger, their greed, their desperation. It is life. Uh, is it possible for the, me to manipulate it to control these people? Uh, we don't really want to do that. Let's go. But the anger and desperation, is there some way to heal it? Um, let's just go with number two. A more neutral uh, response here. The sound, the vibration is strange, tense. Strange? Perhaps. Perhaps not. It is but the vibration of minds driven by life struggles. The struggle to feed, to take, to mate, to fight. It is the way of things. It requires that one be able to feel the critical point within the fractured mass and know how to strike it in such a way that the echoes travel to your intended destination. Uh, this feeling, how long can I feel these echoes around me? Then control over such a large scale is possible. For as long as it lasts, like life, such waking moments within the Force are rare, waiting for the right moment when the critical point is struck and the sound rises. But let us be silent. Words and thoughts are distractions. Feel this moment for as long as it will last. Feel life as it is, with the crude matter stripped away. Maximum force points are increased, so that uh, is a very interesting there. Uh, what are our force 
points uh, at the moment. 128 of 128. Uh, we can also level up Atten here. Uh, let's give him an extra skill. He's got four skill points. We'll give him Demolitions, Awareness, and Security. Let's give him uh, Stealth as well, I guess. And uh, we can give him another feat. He's got a Sneak Attack 6. Um, he is using Blaster Rifles, so we could go with Master Sniper Shot. Uh, extra critical hit, uh, possibility for stunning. Um, uh, we're going to go with that one, and uh, we'll accept that. So he is a scoundrel level 11. Uh, Bayodur gets to level up as well. He's a tech specialist here. Let's give him some extra skills. Uh, computer use and demolition sounds good. He gets uh, a seven skill points. That is amazing per level. So we'll give him just a little bit of everything. And he's got an extra two skill points remaining, so we can put that into treat injury there. And uh, he gets another feat as well. So he likes uh, unarmed fighting. I guess we could give him uh, toughness. Uh, electrical strike. Hmm. We can't seem to use that yet. Uh, minimum level is level 13 there, and Gravitonic Strike, level 19. Uh, so we're definitely going to do that a little bit later. Uh, ranged weapons he doesn't use. Uh, regenerate Vitality Points would be good for someone like him as well. Uh, is there anything else we want here? He's got a uh, medium armor proficiency, two weapon fighting. We're not we're not uh, using weapons at all, so I think we're just going to go for improved toughness here. Okay, we're going to give him improved toughness, and. Um, that uh, that's pretty much it so there is a, a room here I don't know where this goes there's a sign up here I can't read uh, what it is but uh, we're gonna find out um, where this goes in the next episode I hope you are enjoying this playthrough I'll see you all again soon for Knights of the Old Republic 2